everyone. Welcome back to Anchor Down for our first show of the year. Um, I'm co-host Abe McDonald, and as you can see, our usual co-host Cal Minar is not here, but um, he got injured in a soccer game, so hopefully he can heal up soon and be back next week. But for this week, we got the usual man behind the scenes, Harrison Law. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's good to be back on here and yeah, be in front of the camera. Yeah, for sure. Uh, first show in about four months. Uh, we took the summer off, but it, it's it's nice to be back. Um, speaking of summer, how'd your summer go? It was good. A couple of vacations. Went to Colorado. Where'd you go to Colorado for? Uh, we went to a soccer game. Went to Minnesota. Played in Colorado against the Rapids. So yeah. that was fun. Got cool. to see some of the guys from Minnesota after the game. So did you have good seats? Yeah, we had decent seats. We were probably like second row. I think it was it was fun. Yeah. Um, and who won that game? <laughs> We don't need to talk about that. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, did you go you go anywhere else or what else do you do during the summer? Uh some more loons games down the cities, but other than that, just a lot of hanging out with you guys and yeah. Callan and Zach and all those guys, Jacob, yeah. Vinny, Alex. Yeah. And bringing up loons games, um, me and Harrison actually went to a loons game this uh last during the summer, the start of the summer and I just gotta say it's an unreal atmosphere and it was lots of fun. But uh, better than T Wolves. Uh yeah, <laughs> it might it might be better than a T Wolves game, but better it's than it's, wild. it's really fun to um, be in that atmosphere and at Allianz. But yeah, it it was definitely a um, nice summer and it kinda of flew by quick. Um, I had a lot of basketball in the summer. I went to Indianapolis twice, Atlanta and Dallas, so we were kinda of all over the place but when we, I wasn't doing that, I was with you guys hanging out, and we were enjoying the weather, even though it wasn't very rainy, which yeah. can be nice and can't be nice. Didn't have to mow the lawn very many times. Yeah. I know you like doing that, though. <laughs> but um, Did you mow any lawns for um, money like you usually do, or I not, mowed, not really this year? I mowed one lawn just for, like, I don't know, just because they asked me to, yeah. but other than that, no. Yeah. Hardly mow my own lawn. Because um, usually you did that in the summer, but you were working at Rudy's mostly this summer, Yeah, right? yeah. So, yeah, I started working at Rudy's with Calendar, actually, so that's been good. That's been, that's been going well? Yeah, yeah, it's been fun. They still taking applications, or is it Yeah, kinda, yeah. they are. All, that's also on our Instagram page at Hibbing Career Academies, or Blue Jacket Career Academies. Yeah, Blue Jacket Career yeah, Academies. Yeah, so go follow that, and you would see that we're posting, like, job opportunities like that. Rudy's is still hiring, so go inside, grab an application, apply. Yeah, for sure. And um, Harrison bringing up the Career Academies page, um, we, we usually have about three posts a week. Um, Monday, usually it's Motivational Monday, get you going for that day. Um, Wednesday is Working Wednesday. So um, um, if you have pictures of yourself working, send those in and we'll get you posted. Um, Friday is kind of a, a free day, so it'll be some different things. Last week it was a video of me and Callan talking about the podcast. but. Like um, Harrison said, uh, follow that page on Instagram and Facebook. And also with Career Academies, uh, we're looking at um, handing out flyers during class. So if you see us walking around the high school with flyers, that will be for events for Career Academies. Like last month, they went to Duluth for a culinary event and stuff like that. But it'll be nice. Um, yeah. yeah, let us know if you have any ideas on the Instagram. Don't be afraid to message us, and if you want to be part of the Working Wednesdays, just hit us up, and we'll feature you on the Instagram. For sure. Um, school school been going well for you? We yeah. We about summer. Started yeah. school about a month ago. How's it been going? Good. Senior year. A lot of easy classes. Classes that I want, that I like, yeah. I'm liking, so it's been good. How about you? Good. Um, as you know, I've taken choir with you and Harrison. Or, <laughs> not, not you. Uh, you and Callan, and used to having Callan in that seat, but <laughs> yeah. you, Callan, Zach, and Vincent, but that's that's been pretty nice. I like Mr. Corey, and like you said, not too many difficult classes, got calculus, but, um, and we're wearing masks, which isn't ideal, but if it's gonna um, get us to stay in person, I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, do you prefer online school or do you prefer in-person school? I think this year I'd have to say in-person, just yeah. with all my friends, like, I, I, what's your favorite class? Um, I would say right now my favorite class to be in is probably choir just because yeah. I have a lot of friends in that class. Same, it's me, you, Zach, Vinny. Yeah. Vinny's actually got a new song coming out. Yeah. That should be releasing soon. Is that on SoundCloud? I think it'll be on SoundCloud. Yeah, yeah. It's called but, Hills, I think. Yeah, so he joined choir last week, so yeah. that's nice to have him in there. But mm -hmm. it, would you say choir is your favorite class also? Yeah, I would say choir is probably my favorite class. I don't know, it's hard to choose. I have a lot of, like, easy classes yeah. and fun classes that I like, so. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Um, 
So uh, my schedule um, for a sixth hour, I got work-based learning through Mr. Brown. So it's nice that I can work on stuff from the podcast at home or work um, with Harrison on the podcast and get our script for the week or um, do Instagram stuff. So that's it's pretty nice to have that built in with my schedule. Yeah, and like having the work-based study, that kind of goes along with career academies and it's like, I don't know, it's kind of crazy that there's so much that you can do yeah. with career academies. Tons of different opportunities. Yeah, just if you like take a little time to look into it or go talk to Mr. Brown or ask one of us, Cal and Aiden or I, we can help you figure that out or help you get in touch with Mr. Brown. Yeah. It's yeah. super, it's it's nice to have that in your schedule. And it's, it's It makes a, a school a lot more fun and enjoyable. For sure, for sure. Um, we got we got homecoming week as you can see I got this flannel on today is what uh, Wednesday um, so that's Nashville uh, Monday was what was Monday again Monday was New York I think yeah New York, New York. Yeah. yep and then Tuesday was Disney and yeah. then Thursday was um, Thursday to, is Beach Day yep. Friday is Friday School Spirit School yes. Spirit yep yes. so. Tonight, tonight or Wednesday, I mean, um, we got the Powder Puff game. You going to go to that? Uh, I don't think I will be making it to that game. Yeah, I know you were talking about um, uh, recording a video for the homecoming for yeah. Toy Soccer. What are you going to do with that? Uh, I think we'll, it'll be pretty cool. We'll have, so Andrew Matthews, um, he does, like, a lot of videography work. Yeah. He does stuff for, like, Duluth FC, the team that I'm a part of, and his video is really cool. So we had him come out on Tuesday. He shot some footage at the Grand Rapids game, and so he's going to put that in there. And then I think we're going to go to the studio, and we'll have some videos of the guys, other guys. So nice. it'll yeah. be fun. Yeah, it'll be cool for the homecoming video. Yeah. Um, Thursday, uh, the events, soccer game Thursday? Yep. Who, who do you guys play? Duluth Marshall. Duluth Marshall? Okay. Yeah, it yep. should be a good game. So that's also kind of the homecoming home soccer game for the week. Um, and then volleyball has Chisholm Thursday, so that would be nice. Um, Friday school spirits day like we said mm -hmm. um, and the homecoming football game and but, another soccer game yep soccer game East, Friday, Friday. Friday East. catch uh, that game before the football game if you can yeah um, did you go to the homecoming movie on Saturday because they they're having I went with you oh yeah <laughs> okay <All right. laughs> I went with you Callan Vinny Jacob Zach showed up a little bit late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, had, you, had you seen Remember the Titans before? No, I had not. No, yeah, I, I like it. Uh, good Denzel Washington movie. Yeah. Um, pretty good. And I know we had to go a bit early, but they have free popcorn. That was nice. Yeah, the popcorn was really nice. It was, it was cool. Yeah, we got we got some candy and some water, but it, it was a nice thing that I think or Miss Lindstrom and Miss Fox put on. Yeah, but, that, was, that was awesome. It was something a little different for yeah. the week. We appreciate that. It yeah, for sure. We appreciate that. And like we said, uh, it was a fun, fun time. I know I don't think we're, at, we're planning on having a dance, but that was, yeah. that was a nice alternative just yeah, to kind of cool. be in the gym, lay down, and watch a movie. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, um, so we were talking about soccer and football a little bit, but um, let's transition into sports here. Mm -hmm. um, so... Let's start with boys soccer. So how's the, how's the boys soccer season been going? I think it's been like surprisingly well. No one really expected the season to go how it's gone. I think uh, right now we're uh, six and eight, I believe. Yeah. So we have a chance to move to 500 after this week and then go into the playoffs and be ready. Um, I think tomorrow if they play well, they, they could easily get be seven and eight. And then Friday, they very well could be eight and eight. So it's been a good season. Um, new coach, different stuff. I mean, that, yeah. that happens, but not entirely a new coach, you know. Like, yeah, because yeah, Four was on. Yeah, Coach Four was. TV. Yeah, well, and she was like, she was assistant, so yeah. everyone knows her. It's it's like, it's been an easy transition, I think, for all the guys and her. Yeah. And Peyton's stuck around to help, and yeah, that helps with Drew, and goalkeeping coach. We've never really had a strict goalkeeping mm -hmm. coach, so that helps us. And I think the season's gone fairly well for new beginnings like that yeah and for sure i think i think that's got to be nice peyton obviously being one of our leaders last year mm -hmm. and then dealing with injuries he has he's pre persevered through a lot and um gone mm -hmm. through a lot which will make a good coach um you said they play marshall thursday who do they play friday Musabi East. okay yeah. so and then so that that would be their 16th game of the season so 16 game regular season when is 
When does playoffs start? Did you say? So playoffs most likely will have a game Tuesday. Okay. As of now, we'll play in Hermantown. Okay. But that could all change. You know? Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. Two two games left. Um, who do you know who has the number one seed in the section? Denfeld. Right Denfeld. Now. Yeah, yeah, and you guys competed with them, right? Yeah, we had him on their toes, like. Not their toes. They had him on their heels. <laughs> like the first 20 minutes, we were up 2-0. Jacob, he had put the ball in the back of the net, chipped the keeper like twice, and yeah. he did really good that game. And then they're the type of team that just doesn't quit. You know, you yeah, could put five sure. past them, and they would still find a way back into the game. So mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see going into it. I think we have seven teams in the section, so they should. They'll probably get a buy. I'd assume unless unless a team drops out. Yeah. But um, and I think. Obviously, announcing for you guys the last two or three years, I think this group is definitely, I wouldn't say it's senior heavy, but it's kind of senior heavy. We have, yeah. a, lot, we have a lot of seniors that are leaders, mm -hmm. but I think part of that is giving credit to the last two years is those the few seniors that we had to kind of groom these guys to mm -hmm. become a senior group. And obviously, Drew's young at keep, but he, mm -hmm. he's been playing pretty well and having um, experience when you're young like that will help but hopefully they can finish out the season and then get a playoff win do you know the last time we've had a playoff win or no um playoff i i don't know i yeah. would say so i know my brother's senior year they won and i think the year after that so 2018 okay. i want to say they made it to round two so a couple I think years they, yeah cole yeah, cole senior cole year yeah I think they lost to chicago lakes their okay. second game so i think that was the last game but i yeah. could be wrong on that yeah but um, hopefully, hopefully, I know um, a few of the guys have been dealing with injuries and yeah. health, but hopefully they can go in as close to 100% going into the season. Uh, girls soccer, I know some some of the girls soccer games you stayed after to watch, but uh, they've got a new head coach, Mr. Nice. It was just he's um, he just started working at the high school. Mm -hmm. um, pretty good guy. Um, but were you were you there that when they played? I think it was Crookston. Crookston, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They got their first win last week uh, against Crookston. They had two nice goals, mm -hmm. and it, it was a good game. Uh, there's a double header Friday and Saturday. Boy, boys and girls play Crookston, and then East Grand Forks. But yeah, it was nice to see them get their first win. Um, I know tennis also has playoffs starting soon. Yep. Um, so I, I haven't been to a tennis meet this year, but might have to go. I think it might it be Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something like that. There's, yeah, there's something. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was centered on school G two. So if yeah, you're looking the, to go to the that. tennis date, we're not totally sure on, but um, it's not, it should be on school G or on the Iron Range Conference website. Um, yeah, cross country at home meet last week. I know yeah. Zach's been um, running. Running cross country, and he says, I don't know where I was going with that, but Zach, Zach, Zach's our captain of the cross country team, so he's their leader. Um, and they had a home meet last week, and I think it went decently well. Um, they believe Zach said they were in Lesser Park this weekend. Um, but yeah, and then swimming, they're wrapping up their season, looking forward to playoffs. Um, and football, you you go to the homecoming game? Yeah, I probably will. Yeah, I think, so. I think the theme is school spirit, and there's a tailgate before on Friday, so I think that a tailgate starts five five thirty maybe. I, that would be on Schoology. Um but yeah, they play the undefeated ex Eskimo no, Eskimos, so hopefully they can take down the Eskimos. Um, yeah, but. How many how many football games have you been to? Just this year, you? one I think. I've worked a lot of them. Oh yeah, Fridays. Yeah, yeah. Harry's, Harry's a working man. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it, it's nice nice to see them play. Nice to support support the boys out there. Mm -hmm. You know, um, HMR and basketball team for seniors. Josh too, and some of the younger guys too. But it's nice to support them. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, theme is school spirit. Uh, and hopefully we can get loud and get the boys to take them down. Uh, also have Luke Poquette. He's, oh he's, yes, this year he's doing the the double. He's kicking in. He's playing soccer. The double. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty impressive that he can um, do two sports in one season like yeah, that. Kicking, but he's been kicking pretty well, right? Yeah, that's what I've heard, anyways. Yeah, and uh, Fun yeah, to see for, that. for sure, and. Volley volleyball. They um, they played last night. Cloquet, tough game. Cloquet was pretty good, but uh, they have Chisholm tomorrow, which is crosstown rival. Or not crosstown, like 
five miles away rivals, <laughs> but uh, I'll be fun with Chisholm student section yeah. there and our student section. I know there's a couple so area soccer player too on the boys soccer team, so that would kind of that would kind of be fun. Mm -hmm. um, the theme for that is purple on Thursday because it's domestic violence awareness. Mm -hmm. So if um, you're headed to that, which hopefully you are, wear your purple. Um, but yeah, are, are you gonna go to the volleyball game tomorrow? Yeah, I plan on. Yeah, I think I think I'll go there. Um, try to get that dub against blue blue streaks. Mm -hmm. um, let's transition into professional sports. So I'll let you take the take the lead on soccer and Premier League and. MLS, whatever you want to talk about with that. How how how's the season been going for the Loons? Yeah, so we'll start with the Loons. They're uh, I think seven games left right now. Yeah, they're just above the playoff line. It's not looking too great. Yeah. Yeah, they. Uh, do they? Ha I thought you said. Do they have a game up on people or no? Like a um, game. Yeah. So right there? now they do, but so this Saturday or Sunday when they play, that'll even it out because I think they have. There's like three teams in the league that are playing this Sunday other than that because otherwise it's an international break for yeah. like the qualifiers so they'll they'll have to win that game against Colorado Colorado is like third right now yeah. in our conference so we'll see how that goes they're they're hopefully they start doing a little bit better towards the end of the year and then they go into playoffs make a run do they, they do they still have a chance to have a home playoff game technically yeah yeah how many points are they they're like Nine points. Nine, so about three wins and yeah. three losses by the other yeah. team. Uh -huh. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. But would you go to a away playoff game if it was away? I don't know. It depends on where it is. Yeah. Last so year, or say it's in Colorado, would you go? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> we'd, have, we'd have to see. Got to convince Mrs. Law. Yeah. I mean, yeah. last year was it last year? Yeah, I think it was last year. I went to Kansas with my brother. So yeah. Oh yeah, that, that was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. You got to take pictures there. Um, hopefully the loons can start getting some wins finally. Yeah. And. Premier League soccer, I know most of you probably haven't even heard of that, but uh, when uh, the last couple of years when I've become really close with Harrison and Callan, um, I started following mostly the last year Premier League soccer, which is kind of the biggest soccer league in the world, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's your uh, England soccer and pretty, pretty fun to follow. Um, and me, Harrison, and uh, um, a few of our other buddies play fantasy. Um, soccer and I know a lot of you probably play fantasy football or fantasy basketball but fantasy soccer you guys introduced me to that that was pretty fun mm -hmm. um, but yeah who do you think is going to win the Premier League this year Arsenal Arse Arsenal yeah <laughs> no realistically I think for you guys that don't know about the Premier League Arsenal is really bad they're like the Vikings <laughs> yeah who are, who are also one and three they could easily the Vikings could easily be four and oh but they're one and three because they can't kick and they scored seven points last week but yeah yeah so Arsenal is basically the Vikings usually the teams that Harrison's likes he he's I gotta give it to him he's loyal but like USA soccer he's loyal but they're usually bad they're, they're, they're not bad yeah. they'll qualify this year and they'll probably make a good run in the World Cup 2022 yeah. World Cup yeah the World Cup qualifiers uh, the European um, it's international breaks. So yeah, you want to explain that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, so all the teams, international teams, so pretty much every country, well, mostly every country, gets a chance to qualify for the World Cup that'll take place in 2022 in Qatar. And USA plays Thursday. I, I know your beloved Croatia yep. plays or something. Croatia plays Friday and need yes. a couple wins to qualify again because usually or hopefully we qualify once they usually don't want to jinx it but i mean uh, i mean you play countries like slovakia and cyprus or cyprus but yeah cyprus, i don't know how to say that like again. a thousand population uh, so. well speaking of last time usa didn't qualify they lost to trinidad and Tobago. but i mean 2018 i know we can't live in the past but 2018 croatia got to the finals country about four million which is like barely any compared to other countries but so it's, it's all about what's in here, and <laughs> Croatians have that more than most people. <laughs> you yeah, think USA is gonna qualify? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll yeah. qualify. Yeah, and I it'll so. just no, it's just like a, it'll be really good because they'll qualify, they'll make a good run for tw the twenty twenty two World Cup, and then they'll be ready. Probably once, an easy group. Once the World Cups in in America in twenty twenty six, they'll just be ready to win it all. Yeah, up. hopefully, hopefully USA and Croatia plays in twenty twenty six because yeah. I wouldn't sit by you, but <laughs> I I go with you to watch. Sounds good. <laughs> How many how many games does USA have left? 
a ton. They have like even after I think after this group they have like three games of this stage, and then I think they have like two more stages. I think it goes all the way into like January. So maybe ten. Yeah. 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 And so the actual World Cup would be summer of twenty twenty two, right? I think it's the winter. Oh, oh, it starts in the winter. Well. Well, I think it kind of finishes up in the summer, so it might be spring. Because the 2018, I was in the summer watching. Yeah, but I know it's different this year. Oh, okay. Maybe. I don't remember. Maybe, but I don't know. Yeah, definitely looking forward to that. It will be fun to watch both of our teams. Yeah. Um, hope, as long as they make it. I, 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 hope, I hope USA <laughs> makes it in because I want to. I hope Croatia plays USA, so hopefully Croatia and USA can make it in. Um, Harrison, bringing up the Vikings. They're 1 and 3, like we said. Not very good, but they got 17 games this year, so about 13, 13 more games to make up for it. Or we can just tank for uh, Alabama quarterback. <laughs> NBA starting up. Yep, yep. What uh, are your thoughts on the Wolves? Timberwolves, uh, probably 50 wins. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. 50 and 32. What was what was the Warriors record that one year? 73 and 9. Yeah. Yeah, we're going like 82 and 0. Yeah, Anthony Edwards. He's probably got to be the funniest guy in the league, but and the best. Yeah, yeah. Rookie of the year. That's just cheese. Yeah, the mellow got that somehow, but yeah, definitely looking forward to the NBA starting up. Um, you know, Jalen Suggs, who we played against in basketball, it was only two years ago. He's already on the Magic, so he's been, he'll be playing for Orlando. When he comes to Minnesota, are you gonna try to go to that game or no? Uh, yeah, probably if we're not busy. But yeah. Um, yeah, it's cool to see somebody you play against in yeah. the NBA, especially making that much money. Definitely. Playing for the Magic. And Did you ever practice with them, like when you were on Sizzle? Or um, anything? A, a lo- uh, not not really Jalen, but Chet, who's yeah. uh, um, at Gonz- Gonzaga this year. So, yeah, pretty cool to see guys like that, guys you know, guys you yeah, play against. Definitely. Um, twi- I know the twin season just ended. I think they were 73 and 89, maybe, but. I have no idea. It was something like that. They, they, I think they avoided 90 losses or something. But it's absurd how many games they played. Yeah, 162. Can't imagine. That's, that's crazy. Um, yeah, so like you said, hopefully the Loons can get a win or two. I know you said they were going to win 11 in a row, but they've like won one since then. Yeah, when I said that, they didn't even have 11 games yeah. left. So, <laughs> But yeah, hopefully, wrapping up sports, hopefully we can, um, the Blue Jacket football team can get a dub, the volleyball team can get a dub, and all of these sports can carry momentum into the playoffs. For sure. But yeah, it's definitely definitely great to be back on the podcast. Um, great to have you as a co-host. Yeah. Obviously, circumstances with Callen, we we wish that he would be able to be here. But um, hopefully, he can get healed up, and we mm-hmm. would appreciate if you send him our, your well wishes. And um, thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Harrison, for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's yeah, no problem. And make sure, like Harrison said, follow our Instagram page, follow our Facebook. We'll give you weekly updates, motivation posts, get you, keep you going for the week. And um, if you see me, Harrison, or Callan in the school and you have any questions about the podcast, about career academies, let us know. Thanks for tuning in to Anchor Down. Giving Public Access Television would like to thank U.S. Bank for providing us with studio space.